It is time for Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. With a torch. Whoa, what a turn, dude. He's wild, I'm gonna die. Five eleven if you're a guy, six feet if you're a woman. <laughs> I, I get it. Oh, he can be put to sleep. I didn't. Well, you know, stunned. I shouldn't say put to sleep. I did not know. And it's kind of weird seeing Godfrey snoozing on the battlefield. so cute. I want to see Horror Luke get put to sleep, though. Like, him just, you know, being, like, so fast and aggressive and then just, like, nodding off in the middle of the fight. It's a fun juxtaposition. Ah. I'm guessing Elden Beast cannot be put to sleep. That's un unfortunate. That was a bad idea. Why do I ever go for the second hit there? I do it all the time, because I think I can sneak it in. It never works. Roaming's not important. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Just don't roll anything ever. Why roll when you can jump? Or run away. Whoops, I almost did not jump that. The kick. Uh oh, grab. Oh, he 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 did a little groan. Tarnished. Thy strength befits a crown. Let's see. Might go more a little more endurance here. More faith. Eh, faith. Honestly, I'm so tempted to break out a parry shield. Oh, this doesn't. Oh, it doesn't parry. Parry Radagon's super fun. Didn't you know you could parry Radagon? You can. But you gotta be very careful, because, like, as soon as you parry him, he's gonna go into some sort of attack. I don't remember, is it three? It's three. Damn. 
Oops. Too late. Too late. Stop. Right gun, stop. Ah, I rolled too late. No, he doesn't stagger long. Well, the, so every every third parry, you actually get a real stagger. I wonder if you can parry that. He's crazy. Nah, it's too late. Ah, man. Yeah, I started, uh, I, I just did it for like the first time on the Falchion run. And I thought it was super fun. Has anyone heard the Euro Papa song? No. It doesn't even sound real. Actually, it does. It sounds like, like, some European, like something from the 90s or 2000s, I mean. Very late. Okay, you can parry that. Good to know. Too early. Too early. Too late. Wow, I actually worked. Honestly stunned. I guess that was the third one. Keeps playing on repeat in your head. Is it like a new song or something? Never heard of it. Sit and roll that one. Not good. Uh oh. It's a song in the Eurovision show. Competition for singers where they all represent their country. Yeah, I've heard of it. But I don't really know much more than that. I guess maybe there isn't much more to know than that. It's like the Singing Olympics, but for Europe. Why would you put this wall here, Elden Beast? Why would you do this to me? I keep dodging that way too early. I'm pretty sure you don't even need to dodge the last part of that. You just run ahead of him. Okay, we really need to get away from the wall here. 
Go somewhere else. Don't even watch it, but there's this guy called Juice from Netherlands, and I heard two songs from him, and they keep getting stuck in my head. Is one of them the one you, uh, Euro Papa? Alright, Elden Stars. Oh, not yet. Elden Stars, come on. I'm ready. I had to take my hand off the controller to mute my mic. I'm choking. Oops. That one's not great. I have like some Reese's pieces and it. One of them went down the wrong pipe. It's not the best. Uh, oh, what am I doing? That's not the ring. Not the best fight to have to. Or, uh, you know, have one hand on the controller for. Not that there's great fights for that, but I guess just bad time, you know? It's a bad time. Especially when the fight is this long. We'll probably get another Elden Stars, and I have two heals, so I'm not looking forward to that. Oh. And actually throw on the Icon Shield. Not like I need to pair anymore. Rings. Not oh, yet. Okay, now rings. Hey, Luke, what's going on, man? I, I hope there's no wall over here. Pray, pray for no wall. Oh, God. That was close. Nice try, Elden Beast. I'm doing pretty well. Just trying to finish up a new game here. Very close. Elden Beast just does not want to die, though. Well, clearly a wall right there. Oh, nice. Good timing. Well, it's not that it's... Good or bad timing, I guess, but it'll stop in Elden Stars, probably, so that's cool. Not that he will use it here, but I think we're pretty much assured there won't be another one. There we go. What a long fight that was. Now we get to do it again, but with more bosses. Touch... Or whatever. Bend the Elden Ring. Touch America. Journey 2? Not yet. I'm gonna level up first. And just double check we're good on everything. I'm gonna grab some Stone Sword Keys actually here. Is this the Hand of Melania run? This is the... Um... The other run. The St. Trina's Torch. Hand of Melania will do tomorrow. That explains a lot. Yeah. 
All right, let's see. 50, beautiful. I mean, I think we're good to go. I mean, how many Stone Sword keys do I have? My title does say St. Trey's Dorch, right? Okay, right, good, just making sure. That would've been awkward if it said Hand of Melania the entire time. All right, uh, we have 13. Okay, I think we're good to go. I mean, what else would I need? No going back though, you know? We're going. Mustn't have read the title closely enough. I was wondering why you were talking about the Hand of Melania earlier. I'm like, I'm like, this is the torch run. <laughs> I was very confused. Okay, so grafted scion first. Now we get to see what can be put to sleep. This is gonna be exciting. Because I honestly have no clue. Okay, we might actually kill things too quickly to see. Oh, never mind. Oh, go to sleep. Oh, it's just a stagger. I don't know, I hate to call it a stat like a, a stagger even, because it's not really that. It's like a short little rest. Sleep is a weird effect. First boss down. We probably won't get super far here, I imagine. Will this be the first run with Sleep Godskin Duo? It actually, yeah, it was. So we actually did do Godskin Duo already. We just started New Game Plus. And honestly, it was rougher than you might expect just because uh, I played so poorly. But honestly, the damage on this thing's not good for Godskin Duo. I'll say it was, it was fine until they started getting super sleep resistant and then it became a problem. I'm gonna take this off too, actually. We're gonna... Probably do some parrying. Why not? What are we gonna parry? I don't know. There's no point really though if you can't do a crit. Well, I shouldn't say there's no point. It's still fun, but it's not really gonna like be beneficial, I guess. I wonder if Soldier of Godric will even go to sleep or if he'll die before. I can do uh, the Ash of War actually. Go to sleep, little buddy. It didn't work. Does he not sleep? There it is. Does he actually sleep? Oh, he does. I think. I might have hit him too early to really know, but... I'm assuming, like, that kind of enemy would go to sleep. Holy lag, what is happening right now? So the Hannibal Lania and Ruin Greatswords runs, you should do Alexander's quest line. I usually don't. What I do is I just get the Warrior Jar Shard. I don't think it's much worse than the Shard of Alexander, is it? It's just easier, I feel like, than doing his whole quest line. I don't even know how to do his quest line, to be honest. Plus, by the time I get uh, to Fair Missoula, like, the run's over in New Game Plus. Yeah, that's usually what I do. I just kill him either, like, in Kaelid, in uh, Gale Tunnel, or in the beginning in Limgrave, depending on where I am first, which I think is usually in Kaelid. Is it actually? Yeah, I think so. No, it's actually not. But if I if I forget to do it in Limgrave, I'll kill him in Kaelid. But yeah, I definitely will for that. I'll probably do Wing Sword Insignia, um, Ritual Sword Talisman, uh, uh, Warrior Jar Shard, and then I'll have to figure out the fourth one. And now I gotta remember to get Bulgo's Talisman in Dragon Mirror Cave for Poise for Raycard. Like, I don't know why I never thought to do that, because half the time I only have three Talismans for that fight. Because I can never think of another one to use. What is happening right now? I thought he was doing the charge like twice and then he just didn't do it. I think he's just slinking around. I don't know if this guy can go to sleep. I feel like probably not. Hmm. Haven't noticed anything that seems like he is going to sleep. And if he hasn't by now, I don't think he will. 
Unless he just has incredible resistance. Back here, I guess. After killing Radon, find him in the lava. Yep, I know where that is. Then in Fairmazula, take the Drabble, Dragon Temple lift, then platform backwards to the Tempest facing balcony. You'll find him on the way. Does it need, like, where that dragon is? Or something? That does seem pretty simple. I didn't know if there were more steps. Also, where did I get the shield from? Does a warrior start with a shield? If you progress this quest line, you'll find him there at the dragon's place. Okay. Now, I haven't been up there in, like, a long time. Oh my god, like... There's so many places in this game I just never go to anymore because I have no reason to. There's, uh, you know, no boss or whatever. It's usually what it is, right? There's no boss in a place that I just don't go there. Like, going through Shifra from Limgrave. It's, like, not the... Sorry, the, the, not the hole, but, like, going down the elevator. I can't remember the last time I went down the elevator. Actually, I do think I went there recently for Square Off, maybe, on a run. I don't remember what run. Maybe it was Ainsel. I don't know. Something. And we got the Bloodhound Knights. I'm going to try and parry this guy. I am pretty bad at it, though. If we can get through Weeping Peninsula in half an hour with this, I'd be pretty happy with that. Oh, he went to sleep. And he's dead. That was quick. I didn't think it would be that quick. Perry definitely helped, and then he got put to sleep. And then he got staggered after that. It was like a perfect storm. Who next? Knight's Cav, Knight's Cav, uh, Deathbird, and then Leonine. Now there's Stone Sword Key here. Yeah, I think even Limgrave will be easy with this thing. Like, it's... Limgrave's just easy in New Game Plus. When you're at, like, level 100 and... Yeah, you know? Not much you can do to change that. Things just don't really deal damage to you. What level are we at, by the way? 98. I think there's a random Trinus Lily here. Yeah, right there. We don't need that. I think Rune Beers you can put to sleep. I think Knight's Cavalry might be immune. Like, they're on a horse the entire time. So, I don't know. Although I don't, I can't say the same for Tree Sentinels, who are also on a horse, even more than Knight's Cavs. I can't parry this one. I think this is the Flail one. I never realized how good parrying Knight's Cavalries were until I did the Falchion run. They just get knocked right off of their horse. And it's just weird to me that you can't parry this guy. Like, I know you can't parry Flails, but still. To have only half these guys be parryable is just a weird decision to me. There used to be a bug where if you killed the horse with fire damage, then the Knight's Cavalry would just drop dead when he fell off. Like, he would have just died right there. If you go back to, like, some of my earlier runs, they happened a lot. The Godskin Peeler and the Celebrant Sickle. And then whenever they didn't do it, I was just confused because I didn't know what was doing it. Someone pointed it out to me that it was a thing. Deathbird. I feel like Deathbirds are probably sleep immune. Yeah, torches aren't bad in this game. They're not, like, the best thing ever, but they're not really that bad. Not like they have been in past games, anyway. You can't get repost, though, which kind of sucks.
And there are some cool ones, like you have the Ghost Flame Torch, which does frost damage. This one does sleep. The Sentry's Torch makes invisible things visible, which is really just like Black Knife Assassins. It's also very good for one cave in particular, where it kills all the illusory walls. And then the Beast Repellent Torch keeps like all beasts away. Take that. Like 50 damage per attack, yeah. It's it's surprisingly decent. It's just really bad against fire resistant enemies. And there's a big one in this game with Rikard. I can level, I guess. Start going dex. Actually, I'm gonna go endurance. Let me see something. Can I take off this sword seal and then still use this? Okay. Might do that. Comparing Leonine. Not very good at parrying Leonine, but we could do it. And then, what's after this? Paler's Catacombs. Then the Rune Bear. The Rune Bear can go to sleep, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's literally like a sleeping one above the Axe Talisman. I'd be shocked if they couldn't get put to sleep. Stone Sword Key right below. Grab that. Yoink. Then there's some fire resistant bosses. Am I gonna miss that? Ah, oh, of course. I thought it was closer. I think there's some fire resistant bosses uh, coming up. Fire weak. I'm not not fire resistant. I'm sorry. The uh, Earth Tree Avatar and Miranda Flower. Although the Earth Tree Avatar is fought outside, might be dead again. Oof. Not this time. Oh, he staggers out of the crit. That's kind of annoying. I have no idea if you can parry that. Should probably try it, though. What? Go to sleep. Oh, he doesn't fully go to sleep. Okay. Tried to parry that. I don't know why. Sometimes I just get in a parrying mood and I just spam L2 instead of actually attacking. Oh, it's basically the straight sword move set. Thrust. Backslash. So back to here. Where are we going? Impaler's Catacombs and rune, the Rune Bear to Earthborn Cave. Then Worn Tunnel. And then there's like four more bosses after that in Weeping. It'll be nice using an actual weapon tomorrow. <laughs> At the Hand of Melania, we should be able to get that. Not too far away from it. I think we just made it to the snowfield on that run. You can parry this watchdog, but I, I might try it, but I'm going to kill the imps first. I don't want to deal with them. They're annoying. So when I request a weapon, can I also choose the Ash of War skill in Affinity? No. So for Ashes of War, I don't change it. I always use the default. So like, you know, if you have Spinning Slash on a weapon by default, it's always going to be Spinning Slash for these runs. And then the Affinity, I just choose randomly. The Ash of War thing I implemented a while ago, like, because I didn't want to put Flame of the Red Main on anything when that was, when that was like, super OP. So I'm like, I'm not going to change the Ash of War. Um, and that's just kind of a rule I stuck with since. Please stop. And I just like doing random infusions, honestly. How many of these things are still alive, too? Okay, you stop. Stop. Oh, he turned. Too far, overstrafed. 
What if you can parry that one? That was a generous one. Oh, pff, what? That was quick. I don't know if you can parry this either. You can. Wow, okay, cool. I wasn't sure because he stands up. I always feel so weird to see people parrying an Elden Ring. It, honestly, it feels weird for me too still. Like, I'm, I'm not uh, used to doing it. But honestly, it's good against a lot of stuff. Not a ton of main bosses. Like, it's, it's, it works for some, but... Like, for a lot of the dungeon bosses, you can parry a good chunk of them. Cannot parry a Rune Bear, though. And there's probably things that I don't even know you can parry that you can parry. But I wasn't able to do it in uh, the Falchion run. Like, the Scaling Misbegotten we're gonna fight in a few minutes. I don't know if you can parry that guy. Uh, hello? The best part about using a torch is caves are always lit. Okay, I... Yep. He was asleep for a second. Or was going to go to sleep. Wait. Sleep. Damn it. Remember when this guy would send you through the floor? That was a thing for a bit. Yeah, I'll try pairing the scaly misbegotten. I just, I don't know if you can. This guy also has the most delayed attacks in the world. I don't know if you can parry great axes in this game at all. I have no idea. Actually, you can, well, you can parry axes from the Fell Twins. If you can parry Fell Twins, I feel like you should be able to parry this guy, but maybe not. Hell, you can parry the Fell Twins' fist. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's so delayed, I was able to parry twice before he actually attacked. Rusted Anchor. Insanely good weapon. Erdtree Avatar next. Now the Erdtree Avatar, you cannot parry as far as I know. This hammer's too big. Damn, that orb is way bigger than I thought it was. I am actually going to die here because I'm an idiot. Oh, I lived. I was thinking I could, like, get a hit from behind and then run, but apparently the orb covers the entire... Or the Nova covers the entire body. The Cemetery Shade, I have absolutely no idea if you can parry. I was not able to, to parry at all. When I fought these, uh, there's three of them. I didn't get a single parry in any fight on the Falchion run. Hmm, let's go more Dex. Maybe more Endurance. I should probably go Dex, though. I think it's a uh, C scaling? Oh, it's D. Hmm. I think the Dex is descaling those better than the Strength's D. Actually, if you're two-handed, maybe not. Hmm, I didn't think about that. This parry torch business actually looks pretty fun. Oh, come on, man. 
Yeah, I wasn't planning on parrying, to be honest. I mean, I wouldn't... This is not the best weapon. If you're going to do, like, a parrying playthrough, a torch is definitely not the best option. But parrying is fun, and that's why I'm doing it. You know, to be fair, though, I guess it's not that bad with this torch, because if you parry something, you can just whack them a couple times with a sleep torch. Well, it depends on the boss. Like, Leonine would just get up if I hit him once. So maybe not Leonine, but other ones, maybe. All right, let's see if we can parry. I know you can parry the ancient hero. Oh! Insane! Why are you running away? Oh my god. That's glorious. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. I guess you can parry them. Somehow, fighting three of them in the Falchion really just failed every time. But here, first try, parried. Still don't know if you could put him to sleep, though. So we've used three Stone Sword keys. We have 13. I think we only need two more. That's not too bad. Somehow got a bunch. Actually, I might need an extra one, because I think I might do the... What's the call it? The Green Turtle Talisman. This boss I know you can parry, but it's pretty quick. There we go. Oh, you went to sleep. I, I didn't realize. I wasn't looking. I was looking at uh, the health bar to see if he was going to go into phase two. Do you actually fully fall asleep? Hmm? No. Just, just a... A little snooze. And you can parry that too? Wow. Learning so many things. I've had more luck parrying the Ancient Hero and the Cemetery Shade already on this run than I did on the Falchion run. It's kind of wild. Am I going the right way? I am not going the right way. Why am I going that way? <laughs> what am I doing? All right, Miranda should be pretty simple. As soon as you hit her with fire, she just doesn't like she can't do anything. At least for a moment, she, like she'll she'll still be able to do stuff after she recovers, but she gets stunned for like a couple seconds, I think. And these die in one hit, so that's good. I think there's three of them in here. Gotta get poisoned though. Wait, what? Oh, well, maybe she doesn't, uh... I thought she took fire damage during the cast of this attack. Maybe we're just not dealing fire damage in the traditional sense, because she should be... being lit on fire. Interesting that she can fall asleep. Also, what the heck? Oh, there's another flower right there. I didn't see it. All right, we're gonna go first step. Weeping is done. Did I rest? Did I rest where? A reset? Yeah, so... Sorry, I, I misread. Uh, yes, we're in New Game Plus. So I do all these runs in New Game Plus. I start a new character, which means I have to get through New Game, where I get the weapon, and then I do all bosses in New Game Plus. And I do that for every run. Not just, like, you know... Like, this run, or for this weapon, you couldn't get it till the snow field, but even if I started with a weapon, I would still do New Game Plus anyways. For consistency's sake. The only exception is if I go beyond New Game Plus. I'm not going to do, like, New Game Plus 3 for every run. Like, DS2 has some weapons that you can only get in New Game Plus 2. So I just do, like, three playthroughs, and then the last one is the all bosses. Please stop. Do they actually go to sleep? Oh, they do. Good night. Oh, and then they get knocked up immediately. Actually, I wonder if you can parry these guys. I never tried. Let me kill the uh, children. Oh, 
Oh. Hmm. There we go. Love to pick the brain of the person at FromSoft who was in charge of deciding when which things can be sleeped. Yeah, I know. It's definitely interesting. I feel like most mobs can. 